Hey everybody, so this is my first episode of Scabcraft. It's going to be a series that's going to be about two weeks long. Um, for the rest of the next two weeks, of me showing rose crap lathes that are on loan from Scab, uh, Choir Boy Cutlery Outdoors. And if you're not subbed to him, please go check out his channel. He's got awesome stuff, awesome content. He's a great guy. Um, yeah, go check him out. So anyways, the first knife we're going to do is the Rosecraft Zambezi. And Zambezi means bull shark. And bull sharks have a nasty bite. And so does this thing. This this thing got me when I was cleaning it. It was my fault. Um, but I, I did get it clean twice. So, <laughs> but let's jump into it. So you got these really beautiful, and they're calling it smoky gray bone. Really cool. And then you got nickel silver pins steel shield brush steel bolsters and the there's no you cannot feel the pins on that at all i don't see any gapping on the on the back on the spring centering is almost almost perfect i'd say a tiny bit to the show side but not enough to cause any issues no blade rub and then the blade Really awesome pull on that. So that's like a six, and then it goes into like, I can't grab it with that one right now, but that's easily an eight. It's a really strong pull on that. You have a nice drop point blade with the swedge up there, long nail nick. D2 steel, satin finish. I'll show you the tank stamp there, Rosecraft blades. And then the model number D2 steel, RTC002. And this thing's awesome. I love the choil on this. I'm not going to squeeze up on it right now for obvious reasons, but it really does feel great in the hand. It's not going to lock up on you with your finger right there. You're not going to get cut unless, unless you clean it. But a really awesome blade. Let me see if I can find something other than my finger to show you how sharp it is. It's just a little card. Just super sharp. You barely have to do it. It's a really cool design. Um, I believe it's designed by Andy Armstrong. So, very cool blade. This is one of my favorites. Um, since I play with this, I want to. If I had to pick between the Clinch River and this one, I, I would have picked this one first. But since I got to have this in hand, I'm really, really excited to try the Clinch River. I think I might go for that one instead. But this is a fantastic knife. I love this one a lot. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's it's an awesome blade. It weighs like three and a half ounces. You got a two and a half inch blade with a one inch choil on it. It fits great in the hand. So it's when you're up on the choil, it's definitely a four finger. If you're holding down here, obviously it's you know three finger, three and a half. But um, why wouldn't you want to put your finger up there? That's perfect. That's totally safe. But um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. And you guys have a great day.